Okay, so when you're dealing with roots, radicals, or rational powers, combining just means adding and subtracting them. Okay, and the only rule for this is you must have like terms. Okay, so you can only combine like terms. So it's kind of like saying uh, variables. And you can only add them if they have the exact same variable forms. And so I'm just going to give you a couple examples here. All right, so if we look at this, in this first case, if you think of this 3 to the power of 1 third, that's kind of like a variable. It can be represented as a variable. You have 4 times that minus 2 times that same thing. So it's kind of like saying 4x minus 2x. If that's the case, you can just combine the coefficients, right? 4 minus 2 uh, gives you a 2x. Really, the process that you use when you combine like terms is you remove a common factor. So really what we're doing is we're taking out the factor of x. We're left with a 4 minus 2. And then we simplify that, put it out front, and then just carry along that factor that we removed. So it's the same process at work here. It's kind of like we remove this common factor of 3 to the 1 third, and then we just combine what's left. 4 minus 2 leaves us with 2. So that would be our answer. Now if we're confirming this using our calculator, 4 times 3 to the power of, again, make sure you put your rational power in grouping symbols, minus 2 times 3 to the power of, in grouping symbols, 1 third. And you get your answer 2 times 3 to the 1 third. So it confirms that we did it right. The square roots, uh, here your calculator does square roots, so you might as well take advantage of that. Just enter it exactly as it appears, square root of 27 plus the square root of 12, enter, and you get your answer 5 root 3. And you could also do this by hand. You'd need to simplify each radical first and then combine the like terms in the same way we did the first problem. Okay, lastly, this one, again, just like the first problem, can probably be solved more easily by doing it by hand. You have this cube root of y as your common like term. So you just need to combine the coefficients out front, which it, which is basically the process of distributing. Take out your common factor, cube root of y, and then multiply that by whatever remains here. A 1 plus a 4 gives you a 5. So that would be your simplified form. If we wanted to confirm this on our calculators, what we would do is we would enter it in rational power form. And if we did that, we would get uh, y to the power of 1 third plus 4y to the power of 1 third. And it, we get y to the power of, or sorry, 5y to the power of 1 third, which would then be translated back. Have your 5, you have your radical, the base is y, the power is 1, the index is 3. And again, it's just a matter of converting it completely. Don't write any powers of 1 or coefficients of 1 or anything.